Uh, the Israeli offer through Egypt because the Egyptian suggestion of 20 days or something or one month uh, ceasefire and exchange some of the prisoners and things like that. That's an Israeli suggestion, but uh, presented by the Egyptian because Israel cannot directly suggest something like that. What they say is that publicly, we give Hamas a, uh, an, an free exit toward Algeria or Tunisia or like we did with Arafat in 1982 in Beirut. That's what they say publicly. They know this is, uh, this is a joke. But they told their friends in Emirates and Egypt, please do something for us. Make that offer in your name. But the Palestinians are aware about that. And they rejected that because it doesn't solve any problem. It gives it gives Israel more a breather. While for Hamas and the Palestinians in and, and the sea, it doesn't give any real breather. A bit of breather, maybe uh, freezing the fat for 30 days. Uh, and then goods will be allowed. But we have, from the previous instance, we have found that not enough goods and so on, because the goods have to come through, e through Egypt, because you cannot get anything through the sea, because the sea is under siege by Israel. So it comes through Egypt, and the Egyptian generals, and uh, Sisi and his generals, are corrupt and selling that. It comes for free from donation all over the world, and they sell it to the people. So it is not a solution. It may ease a little bit of the hunger, a little bit of the lack of medicine, a little bit, but it's not worth that. Worth that, the benefit. And for Israel, they will get a possibility of recovery. Maybe in this time, they can they can refresh some of their forces, rearrange things like that. It's not good. It's not good. And the Palestinian is very wise to reject that. It should be fine if she is fired, and the forces should withdraw outside. And I would say, suggest to the brothers in Hamas. They should specify not only the forces there, but also say, including the, the, the Israeli ships being as military ships or, or fishery or whatever it is, they have to go out of the territorial waters, outside, out. Then in that case, for example, supply from, from Ladakia, from Syria, from Turkey can come. And it will come because the Iranian will, will try to cover the shame by sending supply from Ladakia going by and then nobody can intercept them. They are in the high waters, nobody can interfere. It will be then, then high, high, high sea robbery and, and piracy. And then they enter the, the Palestinian waters, there's no ships and no, 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 nobody preventing. And then they can unload. Then there will be real supply will be coming. That's the way to go. So continue the fight until that's accepted.